This ain't your ordinary football show. It's the Old Dominion Football Show with Bruce Raider and Coach Bobby Wilder. Some are calling this the biggest college football game in the history of Hampton Roads. For the first time tomorrow night, an ACC school is traveling to Norfolk as Old Dominion takes on NC State. Another challenge for one of the youngest teams in FBS football. Are the Monarchs ready? Let's find out. The Old Dominion Football Show starts now. I'm Bruce Rader along with head coach Bobby Wilder. Two unbeaten teams, mm -hmm. NC State coach, mm -hmm. started playing football in 1892. <laughs> wow. Old Dominion started playing football in 2009. <laughs> That's only, what, a 117-year <laughs> difference here, coach? I think they've got a little jump on us. A really good program. And Dave Doran, as you know, Bruce, and he's only been there going into his third year. What a job he's done. He came from... Uh, uh, from Northern Illinois, where he was 23 and four there, got the NC State job, and has really got them on a roll. And interesting enough, Bruce, both teams are on a on a five-game winning streak. They won their last three games to end the season last year, and we did as well. And both teams are two and zero, oh, so we're both uh, feeling some pretty good momentum right now. Now, Coach, could you have imagined back in 2009 when you were playing schools like Chawan mm -hmm. that six years later you would be hosting a team from the mm -hmm. ACC? A little different level of competition from the state of North Carolina here, all due respect to Chawan, but uh, you mentioned hosting an ACC team, Bruce. And when we first started football, I was just hoping that first day, Bruce, I had told you the day before the game, I'm hoping we can come out the tunnel right and we can get lined up right. And now here we are hosting one of a number of ACC schools that are going to come to to Norfolk. We're talking North Carolina, Wake Forest, Virginia Tech. We're still in negotiations with Virginia, so it's just getting better and better. And I had a sense, Bruce, when we started and, and the way our fan base was. I mean, tomorrow night, the 12th Monarchs are going to sell us out for the 43rd consecutive game. Only team in the history of college football to do that. And these schools want to come here, Bruce. They, they recognize the area. There's 1.7 million people in this coastal Virginia area. It's a phenomenal recruiting base. As you know, a lot of the ACC schools, their alumni live in this area. So this is the first of many and here we go now last September in Raleigh you lost to the Wolfpack by only 12 points mm -hmm. and they admit that they took the Monarchs lightly here's mm -hmm. cornerback Justin Burris last year we, we took them we took them lightly and they came out and you know hung for the defense they hung 34 points on us uh, no we're not taking ODU lightly at all um, this is the first road trip uh, we got to go down there with, with the mentality that you know we're gonna put them away early Coach, you led the uh, Wolfpack uh, midway through the second half last mm -hmm. season. Uh, then they kind of wore you down. Are mm -hmm. you better suited this year, even mm -hmm. though your guys are still very young? That's an interesting question, Bruce. I feel like we have more depth. You know, our roster is as big as it's ever been. We have 114 players currently. Uh, we've got major competition now, Bruce, to get on the on the travel squad. We've never had that before, so our depth is better, but. NC State's a better football team. Coach Doran's doing a really good job. Uh, as we mentioned, eight and five last year, two and zero oh this year. They've got better depth, so uh, it, it's really going to come down to in this game, Bruce. Can can we withstand their size and their speed? Not turn the ball over. If we can do that, which we did last year, we're going to be in the football game. They have a very accurate quarterback who throws mm -hmm. a lot of short passes. Right. Uh, their leading rusher is back after a mm -hmm. two-game suspension. Mm -hmm. You've seen the film. Right. How good is NC State? Uh, Jacoby Brissett, their quarterback, Bruce, who transferred in from Florida, I think is an outstanding player. He's gotten better and better. He's completing 84% of his passes this year. And what's been impressive to me with Jacoby is his ability to process information, how well he moves his feet. He doesn't panic uh, in the pocket. And you mentioned Shadrick Thornton, who's back there, running back, who's as good as any back uh, we'll see this year. They're a better team, Bruce. They have better depth. They have better skill. Really young on defense, Bruce. It's interesting to see what Coach Doran's doing. He's got six sophomores starting on defense, so they're trying to recruit and they're trying to build this. It's a better football team. You mentioned this a couple of moments ago, but mm -hmm. a little more so that the fans will understand. What right. is it that you all will have to do mm -hmm. to beat NC State tomorrow night? Well, the, the key thing for us, Bruce, is that we've got to stay focused on the process of winning. And I felt like last year, uh, we were too hyped up for that national TV game against Middle Tennessee. We just beaten Rice. We come home. We're three and one. Uh, we're all jacked up, and we come out and we fall down 24 to nothing in the game. And then from that point on, we outscore them 28-17. But we just fell behind too quickly. And the, the main thing we've got to do is just stay focused. I know the crowd's going to be electric. I expect SP Ballard Stadium will be the loudest it's ever been, and you and I have heard it 
deafening at times, but people are so amped up. So we've got to do a good job just keeping ourselves focused on the moment. If we do that, Bruce, I really feel like we can play good football tomorrow night. Should be fun. And still to come on the Old Dominion Football Show, he's the third quarterback in Monarch's history, but Schuler Bentley is yet to enter the one-minute drill. Uh -oh. That changes after the break. And it was a dark and rainy night at SB Ballard Stadium when Old Dominion and Norfolk State played in a very unusual game. We're going to talk about that as the Old Dominion Football Show rolls on. Welcome back to the Old Dominion Football Show, and the flavor today is offense. The quarterback, the newest edition of quarterback here at Old Dominion, Schuler Bentley, the redshirt freshman. And Schuler, first thing is, what's the worst part about being a freshman? Definitely uh, team meals on a Friday night when you get off the airplane and you're the last to get in line. The upperclassmen kind of push you inside and say, "Hold on, freshman." Oh, uh, it's just kind of like, yeah. Oh, you're a freshman. Let me let me jump in front of you right quick. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie, Anchorman. Definitely Anchorman. Huge fan of Ron Burgundy. What's the perfect uh, day off for you? If I had a day off, I would definitely grab a rod and reel, and I would head to the lake, and I would just fish all day long, cut my phone off, and not pay attention to anybody. Most embarrassing moment as a freshman so far? It was one of the very few first two-minute drills I've ever done since I've been here. Didn't really know what I was doing, and I took a sack, and as I was walking off to the sideline, Coach Scott had to remind me that I was not at Burns High School anymore in front of the whole team. So that was that was pretty embarrassing. Goofiest teammate. Goofiest teammate is definitely David Washington. David Washington is a is a certified clown. I believe I can fly. You're not the first one to say that, by the way. Nah, I figured I wasn't. <laughs> Schuler Bentley, quarterback for the Monarchs, here for the one minute drill. Schuler, why don't you say goodbye to the Monarch Nation? See you later, 12th Monarchs. Have a great day. Ain't no more to it. Welcome back. Time for the Coach's Corner. First question, Coach Jose from Norfolk, and he asks, is there an area of the country that you would like to recruit but haven't been able to scratch the surface yet? Good question, Jose. We've been able to settle into what we feel like are the best recruiting areas for us, and that'll always start right here in Virginia. We start locally, work throughout the region, uh, and then the mid-Atlantic states. We've had great success, North Carolina, South Carolina, up through Maryland, D.C., um, up into Jersey, and then when we feel like we need a veteran player, junior college, California, Texas, Mississippi. But the mid-Atlantic states, starting with Virginia, have been the best. Thanks for the question. Next question, Ronnie from Chesapeake wants to know, in week one versus Eastern Michigan, the kickoffs appear to be a bit short, giving the other team good field position. Is that an area of concern, and are you trying to fix that? It was an area of concern, and we, we made a change at kicker. We went with um, Ricky Seegers, who was coming back. If you remember last year, he tore his ACL. He was back. Felt like he was healthy and much better week two. The average drive start for Eastern Michigan in week one was a 33-yard line. The average drive start for Norfolk State was the 23, and that's because we had deeper kicks, more height. We covered them well. Thanks for the question. Uh, Coach, you won your second straight game last week, a 14-point win mm -hmm. over Norfolk State that started late because of bad weather, right. was delayed after halftime. How difficult mm -hmm. was it for both teams to stay focused? I felt like it wasn't a major challenge, Bruce, because we were so well organized. The Old Dominion administration did a great job communication with myself, Coach Scott. Uh, they let us know the delay at the start. They even gave us a prediction on how much of a delay based on uh, their review of, of the weather. And then at halftime, Bruce, it was almost down to the minute. They said, we're probably not going to get back out here till 945. And this was right at 830 when we came in. So we knew that. We were able to get the kids' equipment off. We got them Gatorade, bananas, bars. They were able to relax. And, and almost to the minute, Bruce, we were back out at 945. So great job by Bruce Stewart and our game management staff. Now, the fans had to actually leave the stadium. Mm. There just wasn't anywhere else for them to go. Right, yeah, really hard on our fans. And what a phenomenal job, Bruce. I couldn't believe they all came back um, after that first delay before the game. And then a good number of folks came back at halftime after the hour, hour and 12 minutes. And real big credit to the, to the 12th Monarchs. What a loyal fan base. Uh, the fans were... Very good last week, but mm -hmm. you really need them tomorrow night. Oh, boy, do we. We need the 12th Monarchs to be number 12 on the field. We're going to need them loud and proud, Bruce. This is going to be a monumental effort to win this football game. But they always do rise to the occasion. 
All in all, were you happy with the way you all played against uh, Norfolk State? I, I was, Bruce. I feel like we're getting better. We, we played in this game, Bruce, 48 players, 31 of them freshmen and sophomores. We, you mentioned it at the start. We're one of the youngest teams in the country. We only played 17 upperclassmen, but we're doing a nice job right now, Bruce, of staying focused on the process of winning, the planning, preparation, and execution each week. Good week of practice this week. The guys are listening. They want to get better, so we'll, we'll take them out and see what happens tomorrow night. Obviously, you have Ray Lowry, one of the best running backs in the nation, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You're going to continue pounding the ball and mm -hmm. give Shuler Bentley an opportunity mm -hmm. to uh, you know, get into the game as the quarterback? Yeah, similar to what we did, Bruce, four years ago with Taylor Heineke. Just let him grow into himself a little bit at the position. Try to run the ball, play action pass. You mentioned Ray Lowry who's leading the nation in rushing. We've got Jeremy Cox, Keyshawn Strong. We've got Zach Pascal in the backfield now. So we're continuing to try to try to build that package off the run and, and let Shula continue to grow and develop. And the offensive line's been excellent through the first two. They're going to need to be big tomorrow night. Well, indeed, uh, quite a challenge for the offensive line. NC mm -hmm. State, the first Power 5 team ever to come to SB Ballard Stadium. Tomorrow night, kickoff is at 7 o'clock, and Coach Don Slater says, <laughs> don't worry about Appreciate the Appreciate it, Don. <laughs> Where were you last week? <laughs> As you mentioned, the 43rd consecutive sellout, and if you have a ticket, you're going to be part of history. Coach, good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you, Bruce. Join us every Friday night at 1045 for the Old Dominion Football Show. Good night, everybody. Later.